Howdy folks, in today's episode of Pool School, I'm gonna teach you how to put a stay in the pool vacuum into your pool using a vacuumate. This way, you don't lose the function of your skimmer. So what do you say we dive right in? Alrighty, first things first, I wanna encourage you and remind you to like and subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. And I wanna to talk to you quickly about this video. Um, I did a video on converting a pop-up in the in pool, like an in-floor cleaning system, the pop-up system, to converting it to a vacuum using a vac mate. Well, my friend's pool here, he doesn't have any kind of cleaning system in it and has no dedicated line. And so I wanted to show you uh, in a little more detail how to do it. And he actually has one of my favorite pool cleaners. It's called the pool cleaner. And his pool has a deep end, so he has the four-wheel drive version. So let's go take a look at a vac mate. Okay, so this is a vac mate, and this one's obviously been used, and uh, I took it out of my friend's pool, but it comes in basically two parts. It has a, has a nut, this nut holds this onto the skimmer, I'll show you in a second. So it has a skimmer basket, right? And in that skimmer basket, there's an O-ring right here. See that ring? It's a plastic O-ring that sits around there, and that just creates a nice seal when you set it in the skimmer sump, all right? And then it comes with the top part, which has a post in it that just stays screwed in there. All right? And this is your adjustment, and it also allows for you to plug your vacuum into it. I'm gonna put this together really quick so you can see how I do it. Basically, this little post goes down through the hole in the bottom of this thing. See the hole down there? And then this nut goes on like this. Whoopsie, came out. And I just snug it down. Don't get crazy and crank it down too hard because you're dealing with plastic. And you don't, want to, you, don't, you don't want to go crazy and you don't need to go crazy. Okay, so I make sure that lid is even on the top there and it sits just like that. Now, it also comes with another O-ring for um, a skinnier one in case you have a different type of skimmer opening down in the bottom where it sits in. So just find the one that fits the best in the bottom sump. It will also come with these little sleeves, okay? This elbow, notice that little plug there? That plug needs to be in there. They give you that plug because they also give you a pressure gauge that I have never used because it, you just don't need it. You can just sight it in and go by feel. Honestly, I'll tell you that later more. Just leave that plug in. So these sleeves go on like this, right? And that part is on top, this part is on the bottom, and it's gonna sit, this little sleeve is gonna sit right onto this right here, like that. Okay, and it snugs on there nice and snug like that and then guess what goes in here yeah you got it your vacuum hose right your vacuum hose will go in there plugs right into there and then the cool thing is is inside here if you look right back up there as I move this see that thing closing that opening that allows you to adjust the suction the more you close it the more suction will go to the vacuum the more you open it the less suction goes to the vacuum, and the more you get to the skimmer, which is this flap, and it'll flap back and forth, and your skimmer's debris will end up in here. So you won't lose the function of your skimmer. It's one of the reasons I like the VacMate so much. The other cool thing is, all the debris that is vacuumed up through your vacuum is gonna end up in here, except the small parts, or the really smaller stuff that skips, slips through these holes, that's still gonna end up in your pump basket, and you're gonna wanna clean that out occasionally. But it's really cool, and I'll show you what was in this before we do it. The last thing it comes with, or a couple of other things it comes with, it comes with this compression rod, just like a closet rod, right? Or a towel, uh, not a towel rod, uh, what is it? A uh, shower rod. And this is gonna go inside the, the skimmer to hold this down so it doesn't pop out, okay? And then lastly, it's gonna come with also a bunch of these plugs, and they're threaded. And these plugs are gonna be very important, and I'll show you about those in just a moment. Actually, I'm gonna show you about them right now. So let's go over to the pool and let's take care of this. Okay, I'm at my friend's pool again still. And if you notice, I'm in the skimmer. And you notice down there in the bottom of that skimmer, there is only one hole. The other one looks like it's plugged. It actually doesn't have a plug. Um, actually, I take that back, it does. But that was a plug that was already there, so we didn't have to put it in. The hole on this side, on this one, is dedicated, is the suction that goes directly to the pump itself. And that's the one you wanna leave open. The other one, and you're gonna to have to determine which is which um, by just running your filter and watching for suction. And if you see the suction coming from that hole that's open like that one, then that's your suction to the pump. And that's the one you wanna leave open. The other one, 
depending on which one you find. That one goes down to the floor drain. And what you want to do is you want to plug that. So that's what these different plugs are for. So you want to find the one that has the right diameter of that hole. And this one, like I said, is already plugged down there. You see the one down there with that white plug? So I've already plugged that. So you want to plug that hole so that only and all the suction goes directly up into the skimmer, okay? So I've got this and it's pretty simple to put in. I'm just gonna set it in there. I want you to look at this right here. See this rim right here? That rim right there, that rim is what this O-ring is gonna seat into. So I'm just gonna set it down in there. I'm gonna have to kind of angle it. All right, it might take a second to get it in there, because it does. This is pretty tight. There we go. All right, now that I got it in there, I'm gonna take this out so it goes in easier. Now I'm just gonna seat it into that, that rim down there. And boom, we're in. Now, put this back on so that way we have that plugged in. Now I'm gonna take this part, which is my compression rod, and I'm just going to compress it to there. Now the only thing you want to do is make sure that you have the ability to adjust this and that this doesn't get impeded with. All right. Now I come over here to my vacuum hose and if you purchase a vacuum I hope it's like that one over there. This is the four wheel version of the pool cleaner. There is a two wheel version if your pool does not have a deep end. But this is the four wheel version because their pool has a deep end. So follow the, instructor's manufa or the manufacturer's instructions on how to put together your vacuum. These are pretty easy. You just put the hose in there. There's a little float that goes on that right there. And then you connect all the hoses. Make sure they're filled with water. And then you put it in through here. And you'll notice this is going to plug in right there. Like that. See that? That's all there is to it, folks. Now, I'm going to come over to the filter. And I've already turned the time clock on so I can just use the override switch. I'm going to fire it up. And now I can come over here and I can make my adjustments. And the adjustments are really easy. You notice the water flowing into this skimmer area right here. All right? If I don't want that happening, I can shut it completely. And you notice that flap just stopped. All right? That means all the suction right now, so that says closed. That means all the suction is going to that vacuum over there. Now, if I find that that vacuum is coming out of the water and going up the sides, which it's starting to, it's going up the sides pretty high, you'll notice it's gonna come out of the water. Oh, it got hit on that. It hit a, uh, a port, so that's not gonna come out. But see how it's getting stuck up there? So that's telling me I got a little bit too much suction. So you can just adjust it. You don't need that gauge that I talked to you about on top of that. Just leave that plug in. And again, I'm gonna adjust the suction on this vacuum and watch the vacuum to make sure that it gets around the pool well, but it also goes up the side slightly, but it doesn't get stuck on the sides. Yeah? So I'll let you do that and just make your adjustments. Now, if you have a sand filter or a DE filter or even a cartridge filter, as your filter gets dirtier, your suction is going to change a little bit. So that's why this is so cool, because you can just make these adjustments as you need it, right? So I keep it about here. Because one thing about this pool, it doesn't have an adjustment on the, on the suction side of the pump over there. It's just a single pipe, and all the suction goes here. So they used to have a diverter inside there, which allowed the floor drain to work. But again, no cleaning system at all. So we just turned it into a vacuum system, and we use the vacuum. Aid. Now that vacuum is just kind of going around. And again, make your adjustments. And once you get it to where you want it, shut your lid, and you are done. I almost forgot. I wanted to show you what was in that, that vacmate after the vacuum had been running and working and doing its job. That's how efficient these things are. So all of that would have gone into your pump basket and now it goes into that skimmer basket if you use the vacmate. So it's a little easier. You just have to undo that and empty it. So my friends, that is how easy it is to convert your pool that doesn't have any kind of cleaning system in it into a stay-in-the-pool vacuum system using the VacMate 
um, product. It's fantastic. It again continues to allow you to have skimmer function and um, it's just a great product. You probably find it for under a hundred bucks online. So do a Google search and look for Vacuumate. Um, also, the, the pool vacuums that I like, I really, really like a product called The Pool Cleaner. So look it up online. If you have a standard play pool, just get the two wheel version. And if you have a pool that has a diving area or a deep end, like eight or nine feet deep, then you're probably gonna want the four wheel model or the four wheel version, okay? But that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much how it works. I hope it made sense. I wanna remind you all again to like and subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Also, if you have any comments or questions, you can always leave them in the comments section below this video. Or, as always, you can email me directly. My email address will come right across the screen down here. KennyPoolSchool at gmail.com. Once again, KennyPoolSchool at gmail.com. Thanks so much again for watching. And until we meet again, remember to have fun, be safe, and always, please, watch those kids around water. I'll see you next time.